So let's talk, though, more about Kansas and the guys who've been able to win there in the past that will be in Sunday's field. You see them here. Kevin Harvick, Denny Hamlin, and Joey Logano, three wins apiece. Brad Kozlowski, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr. with two. Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, and Bubba Wallace all have one win apiece. So, David, what do you see here out of this group? You think we're going to see a repeat winner? What's going on? That's a strong list, it Caitlin. Is. And I do think that, that the winner this weekend comes from that list. I look at Denny Hamlin, who's still looking for his first win. Uh, he's been super consistent this year, but just hasn't been able to close the deal. Martin Truex Jr. used to dominate Kansas over the years. I think he's got the monkey off of his back. Maybe some of that momentum, or, or Big Mo, Big as Mo, Mo Larry calls Larry it. You know, momentum it. is a powerful thing. <laughs> But Kyle Larson had that epic battle with Kurt Busch one year ago at this race, uh, really fast at Las Vegas earlier in the year. They run the same tire at Las Vegas at they do uh, Kansas Speedway this weekend. So I think Larson's going to be the guy to beat. Okay. I like to think we may get a new Kansas I winner like because I think at. about Christopher Bell. He was so fast there last year, sat on the pole for this race a year ago, top five in both of the races. And then I think about Tyler Reddick. It's maybe not been the best racetrack for him, but he's in a 2311 car. They swept the races there last year. And speaking of Las Vegas, William Byron, he barbecued their hind ends in Las Vegas back a few weeks ago That's by leading almost half the laps, winning both stages and the race. And again, we kind of relate Vegas a lot to Kansas. we got to keep using that throughout the show. I like this new phrase we've come up yeah. with, with the barbecue. We're going to remember that. We're going to remember that. Let's take a look now at the playoffs leaderboard at this point in the season where we stand. You see all those winners in yellow. There's quite a few of them, eight winners on the year. But there's also some surprising names in and around the cut line. So, Larry, who do you think? needs to make up some ground at this point in the season. Well, I'm, I'm going to talk about a driver that missed six races. I'm going to talk about Chase Elliott. You know, he's been back for three races. He's maybe not been up there leading laps. He has been scoring some stage points. He's been hitting the ball right down the middle, all top 12 finishes. With 15 races to go, if he could, there's a lot of racing to go. There's a lot yes. of stage points. I know they're in that must-win frame of mind, but I truly think they can do it on points when you think about 15 races and all the stage points that are available. Good tracks coming up for him, too. Yeah, a few drivers below even the 20th position. Uh, first one comes to mind, Austin Dillon, who won the Daytona race a year ago to race his way into the playoffs. Uh, he's got that 60-point penalty that NASCAR issued them a few weeks ago. Uh, he's got a, a long road in front of those guys. They've got to find some speed. Uh, Bubba Wallace. So when you think about Bubba, he's had a little bit of an up-and-down season, but this is such an important racetrack for Bubba Wallace and that team. Two top tens a year ago in including the win in the fall. But when you go to a racetrack where you've run well at, you like that racetrack, you've got a good history, you have got to have a good weekend. So I think this is a, a must-have solid weekend for Bubba Wallace and them to kind of get back on the right track. Yeah, keep an eye on all those drivers to get the ship righted in the correct direction. All right. Hey, race fans, thanks for watching our video. For all NASCAR on Fox News content and the best clips from Fox Sports, be sure to follow and subscribe to our channel.